The following exercise determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right. So in this particular, for this particular problem, we can look at it using these three steps. But I actually think there's an e easier way to kind of look at it. All right. It's just by understanding what the definition of a function is. It's where each x cannot have more than one y. Okay. So let me just highlight that at the bottom. So a function is where each x cannot have more than one y. All right, so let's just use a hypothetical, all right? So let's say, I'm gonna say that x is equal to negative five, okay? So let's pretend that that's the case. I'm gonna tell you that x is equal to negative five. So if I say that x is equal to negative five, so what I'm gonna do here is plug in negative five, okay? That's squared. And now this would be equal to y squared, right? So we can do the math now if we like. We can take the square root of both sides and blah, 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 all right, if we wanted. Um, but even easier, I think, would be to ask yourself, this would equal 25, right? And now you wanna think, well, what value of y will equal, when squared, what value of y, when it's squared, will equal 25? So it's, oh, that's easy. I know that answer, right? It's five. The answer is five. So y is, y is equal to five. And you would be right, right? That would be one answer, okay? So I would say that now, uh, let me do this. So I'd say now that this x value of negative five has a corresponding y value of five. But, that's great, but you might have also said, well, wait a minute, couldn't y in here also have been negative five, right? Because negative five squared is equal to 25. And you're right, right? So this could have been, y also could have been equal to negative five. Now therein lies the problem, okay? Why is that a problem? Because that violates the definition of what a function is. The function is saying, the definition of a function tells us that this x of negative five cannot have two different y values associated with it. But it does in this case. All right, so being that that's the case, this then, this uh, equation at the top that they gave us, we can definitively state is not a function. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you in the next problem. Take care.